In this video, we are going to study a new characteristic of Blazor for SP.NET Core 6, and that is custom events. With custom events, we can create our own events that will respond to a browser event, but that will generate data on the fly that we will receive in a C -sharp method. Let's see what's that about with an example. The example that I want to do is the following. In Twitter, I am able to paste text in here. So let me go to notepad and here I will write anything like Felipe, which is my name and I will paste it here. And as you can see, I can just paste text without any issues. But what is special about this place is that I can also paste multimedia like images. For example, let me come here and let me right click here, copy image. Now let's go back here and I will paste. And as you can see, that text is still there, but now we have an image. So I effectively paste an image in my tweet. And not only that, I can come back here, select another image, right click, copy image, and then go back to Twitter and paste. And as you can see, we have the two images now. And if I keep copying text and pasting it here, you can see that I am able to freely paste text and images in my tweet without any issues. I want to do that in Blazor. I want to be able to paste text in a text area and images just like I can do it here in Twitter. So let's do that. Let's go to Visual Studio and let's get to work on that. This is a new project of Blazor. I haven't made any modifications to it. So let's get started. I need to define in JavaScript my new event. So let's go to the Solution Explorer. I can go to the www root directory and I will right click here at new item and I will look for JavaScript. I'll click on here and I will name it custom event enter. And here I will do the following. I will say blazor dot register custom event type and here I will put the name of my custom event, which is going to be paste multimedia. And then I will send a second parameter in which I am going to define the characteristics of my custom event. The first one is browser event name. With browser event name, I need to indicate what browser event I actually want to use. So I can say, for example, paste so that this paste multimedia custom event will fire when there is a paste event. But the special thing is that I will be able to process here in JavaScript what I am going to send to my C sharp application. So I will say here, create events args. In here, I will create the arguments, the values that I will pass to my C sharp function that, it, that will respond to the paste multimedia event. So I will say here event and in here, I will have two pieces of data. I will say let is multimedia equal to false by default. Is multimedia will allow me to do one thing when the user is pasting in text and another thing if the user is pasting in an image. Now, I also need to say let data equal to event clipboard data get text. And with this, I am able to get the text that the user is copying. We are going to handle data in just a few minutes. First, I want to test that everything works okay. So let me say return and I will say is multimedia and data. With this return, I am sending the data that I want to send into my C -sharp application. So I want to send whether the user is based in text or multimedia and whatever the data is. In the future, this could also be the data of the image, but we're going to do that in just a few minutes. Now I need to reference this custom event JS file in my index.html. So let me come here and below the Blazor WebAssembly script, I will say a script and I will say source custom event JS. Now I need to define the custom event, but at the C sharp level. For that, I will come to the solution explorer and I will create a new folder, add new folder, and I will say custom events, enter, and I will create a new class here, class, and I will call it 
Space Multimedia Events Arts, enter, and I need to inherit from Event Arts because this represents the arguments of a event. So let me say here bool, and you can guess what I'm going to put here is multimedia. And in here, I will put a string and data. If you don't remember, these are the variables that I am returning from here. So let's go back here and let's continue working. Now I need to define a new event handler. So I will say event handler here. And I will say on and after the on, I will copy this from the custom event JS that paste multimedia. Though let me change this to lowercase just to be consistent. And now I will come back here and I will paste this here on paste multimedia. We have on paste multimedia because in Blazor events start with on, but in JavaScript they don't. That is why there is a discrepancy here not on here and on here. Now I need to pass here type of because here I will define the data type that we're going to receive as the events arcs, which is space multimedia events arcs. And then after that comma, I can say enable stop propagation true and enable prevent default true. And now below that I will say public a static class event handlers and that's it with this i have defined in blazor this new event now i can use it let me go to index razor and let's use it i will delete this from here and i will do the following i will say diff and i will say text area and i will say on paste multimedia equal to and i will say handle Based multimedia and I will copy this and I will come to code and I'll say private void handle paste multimedia and now I need to use and using a statement for this namespace so let's go back here and let me say using this and in here I will say paste multimedia event source e and here we can do our first test. I can say console write line e dot multimedia and I will say here e dot is multimedia and also the same for data and data here. Now I will press control F5 to run my application and do this a small testing just to see that our custom event works. We have here our text area now I will press F12 and I will copy some text from here and I will paste it here and as you can see we have e.multimedia false and e.data Felipe we have Felipe here because that is what I pasted here so this is working now on to our example we want to be able to paste images so we need to come here and process images as they come what we're going to do is that I will determine if the user paste an image and if he did then I am going to send the URL of that image through this data variable. So let's do that. I will say const items equal to event clipboard data dot items because in items, items is an array, items brings us the image if, if the user actually pasted one. So let's come here and let's say const accepted media types because I don't want to process any kind of multimedia I actually just want to process images so I will use image PNG and of course you can put any other media type that you want to process in this array this will allow you to exclude for example PDFs or videos or any other thing that you don't want to accept the user to paste so let me say for and I will say let i equal to zero i less than items length i plus plus and now i will say const file i want to determine if there is a file if there is no file then i don't have to keep running this for loop so i will say equal to items i get as file and now if file is falsy so i will say file 
then I will continue. Otherwise, I will determine then if the file is of any of these media types that we have here. So I will say if accepted media types index of, and I will say items i type equal 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 minus one, then it means that its type is not in the accepted media types array. So I will just continue. If we get into this line, it means that it is an image. It's an image. And therefore, we have to do the following. I will say, is multimedia equal to true? And also, I will say, var URL, or I should say, actually, const URL equal to window URL or window webkit URL. And then I will say data equal to URL, create object URL, file. So this will create an URL for this file. And that's actually it. With this, I will have access to the URL of the image in my C -sharp application. So let's come back here to the index component. And in here, now I know that I may be able to get an image. So what I'm going to do, I am going to create an array of images so let me say private list of a string images equal to new list of a string. And now in here, I will do the following. I will say if E is multimedia is equal to true, then I will say images at E dot data because if is multimedia is equal to true, then it means that we're getting an image. If it is not, then I will just not do anything now. I want to display the images to the user, so I will do the following. I will do a simple for each bar image in images, and then I will say image, and I will close this, and I will say style, and let me say with 150 pixels, margin right, one rem, and margin top, one rem we could have done that in a single statement but that is fine src image and that's actually it with this we're good to go let me come back here and i will press ctrl f5 just to make sure that we have the latest version of the javascript file that has our custom event defined now I will paste some text just so that you can see that this still works. This is fine. Let me close this because it is distracting. Now let me come back here and I will copy this image, copy image, and I'll paste it here. And as you can see, we have the image here. And not only that, I can copy another image and paste it here and it works. And if I keep pasting text, you can see that I still can paste text, which means that I can not only paste text in here, but I can also paste images. And we did that with a custom defined event, which is a new characteristic of Blazor 4 SP.NET Core 6. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want me to cover next. Thanks.